we're going to derive the quadratic formula. And we're going to start with the quadratic in general form. So it looks like ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So what I want to do is I want to basically solve for x. And right now, the only way we know how to do this is to complete the square. So I'll treat a, b, and c as if they're numbers, and I'll follow the exact process of completing the square. So the first step is to divide by the leading coefficient, and in this case, it's just a. So simplifying that, I'll get x squared plus b over ax plus c over a, and it still equals 0. The next step, I'm going to move away the c over a to the other side and make room to complete this square. So now off to the side, I'm going to do the process for completing the square. So I take half of the middle coefficient, b over a, which gives me b over 2a, and then I square that. So I'll get b squared over 4a squared. So that is the number or expression that will complete this square. So I'll go ahead and add that to both sides. So both sides gets a b squared over 4a squared. Now on the left, I added that side so that I could factor it to be the same factor twice. Okay, that's the whole point of completing the square. So now instead of having two copies of x, I just have one. So I have x plus b over 2a squared. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to need a common denominator. I have to put these together. So my common denominator is going to be 4a squared, and then I just prefer to write it so that my leading term is positive. So we'll take the b squared first, and then minus 4ac. All right, and then as always, the next step, because remember, I'm trying to isolate x, is to get rid of the square. So I'll square root both sides. And don't forget that the left-hand side is really the absolute value. So I remove the absolute value and measure to the right and the left. That's where the plus and minus come in on the right-hand side. And it's okay to square root across division, but not across minus. So simplifying that, I get x plus b over 2a. And then on the right-hand side, the top doesn't simplify at all. It's still plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. But the denominator is a perfect square, so it's just 2a. So now I'm going to isolate x. I'll move my b over 2a to the right-hand side, so it becomes a negative b over 2a. And since I have a common denominator, I can write them as a single fraction. So you'll recognize the quadratic formula as negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a.